Now, there's a charity that helps pay vet bills for retired police dogs in the West Country. Now, this very handsome fella is Scooter, and he's actually retiring from the force today. So thank you to all of, uh, to him and his handler for all that he's done. Um, now, the charity that will support him and other dogs that have protected us all their lives says its finances have been badly affected by the coronavirus. Our reporter, Tracy Miller, has been to find out more. Meet Tyke. After eight years of service as a police dog, he's retired due to ill health, but he achieved great things during his career. He had lots of prisoners from tracking, so he, he's had quite a few burglars that he's caught, and somebody came at me with a barrel over their head, and Tyke took them down with the barrel to protect me. He's saved me quite a few times operationally. Couldn't live without him, really. Now he's retired, the police force relinquish all responsibility, but Cindy decided to keep him. It's an expensive decision. Police dogs rarely get insurance. He's worked hard all his life, so that's why when they do retire, you don't always get too long with, with them because this is a dog that's worked shifts, they're tracking across fields and, and doing quite a lot of endurance work. A charity called WAGS has been set up to help support the cost of retired police dogs. Andy works for the charity in his spare time. You know, we wouldn't want a dog to be put to sleep just because somebody couldn't afford to pay for their treatment. So that's why we step in and, and help out with those costs. Some dogs are rehomed by the public. Andy recently had to retire a specialist search dog called Jake. At 11 years old, so I had a full 10 years of work out of him. Um, and he went to one of my friends, so uh, he's got a lovely little life now. This year's pandemic has meant that the charity has lost thousands of pounds. The charity hopes it can survive to ensure that these dogs get the retirement that they deserve. Tracy Miller, BBC Points West, Malmesbury.